Uh, hello again, uh, I'm Adrian and I'm going to take you through how to create an animation uh, blend tree uh, with the scripts that I've created in order to get some nice blending animations. I've just got a blank project here in Unity um, with already the scripts that, uh, that you need loaded. Uh, there's also a little camera script here that I might add in. Uh, so I'm just going to drag some assets in to start this off. So I'll just do this pretty quickly. Uh, we've got a character that's coming in. He is a just a, a character from Maya that's been brought in, converted to FBX, and there he is. I'm also going to bring him some animations that have been created inside Motion Builder. Um, these are FBX files, and inside each FBX file is a clip uh, file for inside the FBX. Uh, what you need to do is actually duplicate these clips because um, part of this, the, the scripts actually need to write some uh, animation keys to the clips but if you actually leave them inside an FBX file you don't have the uh, ability to do that so uh, you have to actually duplicate the clips from the FBX files and then you can actually just ditch the originals. I'm um, just going to set this up quickly I'll um, create a light so we can see what's going on um, that'll do, and I'll just compare that to that. Continue. Also, have a look and see where our. We don't have a camera in there at all, so create other. Where are we? There we go. Camera. And I'll bring this in as well so we can see when we're finally ready to see something, what's going on. I'll parent the camera to the character as well. Alright, so we've got our basic scene set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create uh, the base object for the animation tree and parent that to the character. It can be anywhere. Um, I just find it easier there. Uh, the first thing we need to do is, is kind of set this up. Uh, there's a couple of base steps you need to do. The first being of which is to add the animation tree or the anim tree script in. Once you've done that, there's a couple of little things you've got to link up animation, the base transform. Um, there are a couple of, uh, of rules that you have to have when you actually bring in a, a character that's rigged in order to make this work. I'm not, think, I'm not going to go through them here but uh, I'll, I'll go through that at a later time. Okay so that's the base setup done. One other thing we need to do is actually bring our animations and anyone that's uh, done animation in Unity the, the standard way knows probably knows about this. I'm hoping to actually automate this in the uh, anim tree uh, GUI but uh, for the moment there's still a little bit of manual hookup. Alright so that's it. That should be how we're set up uh, to use the animation tree system. I'm just going to open the graph editor and bring him in there and we'll have a look and I'm going to have a look at the root node. I'm just going to collapse all these a bit so we've got a bit more space. Actually I'll collapse it all I think. No. Alright, we'll just leave it there for the moment. So the first thing that you'll notice when you see the, uh, the animation tree system is uh, everything is contained underneath the uh, animation tree uh, object that we created. Um, the first thing that pops up is a, is a blend graph and that will automatically be created. Um, a blend graph is, is a way of blending between animations and, and inside the animation uh, tree uh, system there's, there's two main windows that you'll see. One is a blend graph which is what we've got in front of us uh, which can create which in which you can create complex blends between lots of different animations. You can also have um, nested blend graphs um, as well. So, but the other window you'll see is a, is a state machine, and I'll show you that uh, shortly. But first, I want to go through the blend graph because that's kind of the the area in which you place your animations and do blending between them. At the moment, there's kind of uh, this is the default. This is what you'll see with a blend graph uh, from the start. There's nothing here. Everything needs to filter down to an output, though. So the first thing we need to do is actually drop some animations in. So I'm just going to drop in walk and run. Okay. Now we want a way to blend these two together so we need to create a blend node. And I'm just going to hook these up by connecting the output to the input. There we 
Okay, and that's great. So that that kind of makes sense. You'll it kind of works backwards. So it goes from the output and goes right. I want to do a blend between these, and what kind of parameters do I have in order to blend between these? So um, you need to specify an input parameter, um, which we can do by selecting that and adding. So I'm just going to add in speed here, and then this parameter will dictate the blend that's created overall. One other thing that you must do with your animations is uh, th these represent animations. Um, these are both looping animations, so I want to do that. But you need to create these velocity animation curves um, for each animation that you do. Um, it's just a way, it, it enables uh, a much easier way to link animations together rather than working on world space keys for the for the root node on the character. We actually convert those um, those position and rotations to a velocity and a trajectory um, and it makes it easier to chain animations together. So you can see what I've done there. I've just created a very simple blend between two animations. Um, I'm going to move this over here and if I hit play you can see he's moving around and I'll actually show you my blend graph as well. So this is actually indicated real time and if I change the speed he's going to he's going to do a blend between the two animation so the speed is is this input parameter here okay and these this is a, a like a, a testing GUI if you like um, and when I adjust the speed parameter it now does a blend between that between those two animations now there's no reason why you can't have blends on top of blends so I could for instance bring in let me get my project back I could bring in another animation here. And we're getting a bit tight. Let's put that back. Um, and create another blend. And disconnect that. But connect this to that. And this to that. Whoa. Is that right? And then put that in there. So you can see what's happening here. We're, we're running a blend kind of on top of a blend and I need to create my velocity curves but I need also a second input parameter so I'm going to call this stop go kind of thing well, it's, actually, it's actually go stop but just for an example and we'll actually ditch this later on uh, but now we can connect that to that There we go, and run it, and you can see we've got our more complex blend graph now running, and I'll actually just move the camera a bit, the hierarchy. Hopefully that's better. That's better. So we'll play that, and I'll show you the animation tree there. So now we can still there's the go stop, but we're actually blending between, you know, multiple, doing multiple blends at the same time. Everything's kept in sync as well, so, you know, it's, it's important that all your animations, if you are creating them, you know, you, if you're doing run cycles, you need to always start kind of with, your, with one of your feet down. So if you're, if you're doing a walk, I start with the left foot down, and for, for the walk, jog and run if you want to blend between them. Uh, that way they'll sync nicely and you can get a nice job. Well, we've only got two two animations here and, and you know they're not great, they're just testing purposes, but that's kind of a jog that will get you uh, it'll get you quite a way there right from the start.